Count your blessings, name them one by one. Woo! Count your blessings, name them one by one. Yeah. But you call me love, you say I'm one thing made. Your river floods, man. Hey everyone, like welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're not new. So, and thank you for tuning in. Hold up. Thank you for tuning in. So today I decided that I actually wanted to touch on some things to help fight depression um, and stay positive. During this period, it's very easy to slip into depression. Very easy. It's easy for us to, to you know, think about all the things that we could have done differently, be in guilt, like I said before from the other video, kind of be in shame as well. Um, just kind of feeling very down. It's very easy to feel down. You don't know what the future holds. You don't, in it, even though you're trying to trust in God, those thoughts will definitely still come back. It's not a one day job kind of thing. You have to keep pushing yourself to, to trust and believe that God can intervene in your situation. So without further ado, let's get to the video or the main part of the video. Yeah. So the first thing that you would need to do is to stay in prayer. And also while you're staying in prayer, you need to believe that God actually hears your prayers. It's easy for people to just say a prayer and then, you know, go about their regular business. But it's an, it's one thing when you say the prayer but you don't actually believe that God actually hears you. If you don't believe, that means you're not really trusting God. So that means it's going to be more likely for you to panic and when you panic, you're going to make bad decisions. So you need to believe that God hears you. And God does. I know it, it doesn't seem like it all the time. Sometimes it's like, oh, am I speaking to myself? Am I talking to myself? Um, God, where are you? I can't hear you. I, I don't know where you are. God hears you. He does. He's working in the background. He hears you. And he has assigned angels to work in your favor. Pray for your future, pray for your child, pray for your, your um, career, pray for your finances, future finances, pray for everything, everything. If, if, it, if you haven't told your parents yet, if you're in that situation and you're still like under your parents' roof, pray about telling your parents and, and allowing God to, to soften their hearts to, to um, allow you to tell them or even pray for God to, to bring someone into your life that you can talk to. Pray for everything. Just pray. Pray, pray, pray. Let me bring up the scripture of Philippians 4, 6. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, thanksgiving, present your request to God. So yes, pray without ceasing and and believe so now the second one is get busy or create some kind of routine um, idleness is the devil's workshop it's harder for you to get out of depression um, when you're not doing anything because your mind is just free for open thoughts See, the devil will definitely bring up accusations he will make you feel like she she if you can take walks in the morning uh, do light exercises uh, hang out with people who are positive um, who support you you can watch movies don't go and watch movies that are going to make you sad please don't go and do that uh, I would say read books like one thing that I did when I was um, pregnant, I found myself reading a lot and I mainly read books that um, kind of helped me build my spiritual um, spiritual life and also novels. I read novels and I read Christian novels as well. I read like three big uh, Francine, Francine Rivers um, books uh, when I was pregnant. Like I read them like in a week but yeah I was just basically reading um, really just building myself up and taking my when you read it basically kind of takes your mind out off of your problems so that's another good thing plan your future plan 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 get something to take your mind off of your situation uh, so yeah that's what I have to say about that then number three is stay in the word as I'm saying it to you I'm also saying it to myself faith comes by hearing the word don't get it twisted. 
you cannot expect yourself to to have faith in God and have faith in his promises if you do not know what his word says um, that's just point blank period you need to build yourself up spiritually you need to grasp on to what the word says get a devotional guide find scriptures that you can meditate on daily and find um, sermons that you can listen to um, to help you understand things um, a bit easier uh, in the Bible get an audio uh, Bible so you can listen to the Bible on the go basically just read your Bible like learn the word you're going through all these problems and you don't even know that your the, the situation that you're going through is already somewhere in the Bible and there's a solution for it but you don't know about it because you don't know the Bible so we need to make it a practice in a culture to read the Bible there are solutions they're made for us it's for us for a reason to help us get through this crazy life that we are living in so yeah so the fourth point I will say is reject negativity. Reject it at all costs. Don't meditate on things that are negative. Concentrate on positive things. Whatever you think, whatever you say, the kind of energy that you project out is what comes back to you. If you're constantly being negative, um, you're going to get negativity. Don't even think that you can stay negative and think that positive things are going to happen to you because they're just not. Maybe in a blue moon they will, but you probably won't even be able to notice the good things that happen to you because you're always so negative. Whatever a negative thought comes to you, turn it around and make it positive. It's definitely work, but after a while, you'll get used to doing that and, you know, it won't be as big, a, it, it won't be as much of a, a, a problem doing that like before in Proverbs 18 verse 21 it says death and life are in the power of the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof that means death and life are in your tongue boo it's in your tongue yeah. let me say mouth <laughs> be positive and speak positive things I'm gonna get through this this is not the end this is the beginning of something new a new chapter in my life there are people who have made it and I will make it too. Speak positivity into your life. Speak positivity into your child's life. Speak blessings into your life. What has negativity ever changed? Nothing. It just brought more negativity and brought more chaos to your life. So be positive. I say in Nigeria, um, I know the African culture in Nigeria, they're very, very condemning and very... Uh, so I can understand if someone is, they have to be around people who are always pointing their fingers at them, calling them names, um, just really making them feel bad. So what I would say with that is continue to stay in prayer, but I would really encourage you to seek outside help from someone else. If you know an extended family member that is more understanding, maybe you can reach out to them. If you know someone... Um, I really urge you to seek help. Seek help. Before you even seek help, make sure you pray that God guides you to who you can talk to. Believe that God hears you. Um, so yeah, the fifth tip will be count your blessings. Name them one by one. Though. Even though after I've given all these tips, I know that it's still going to be difficult at some points in time to stay positive. But I know this one thing that always helps me combat negativity is counting my blessings. To be very honest, the fact that you can even watch this video right now means that you are immensely blessed. You may not feel like it, you may not know it, but you are immensely blessed. Um, there are people who don't have laptops, phones, anything. They don't have, they don't, they can't read. Their circumstance is really terrible and they have nothing, literally nothing. There are so many people out there who are suffering who do not have the opportunities that you might have. Don't ever take what you have for granted. Don't ever take what you have for granted. Stay thankful. Stay grateful. It really, God loves a grateful and a thankful heart. Um, so yeah, I really hope that you were blessed by this video. Um, please support this video by liking it, commenting, and sharing. 
you never know who may need to see it and who may need who who may be blessed by it also subscribe to my channel i would really be thankful if you subscribe to my channel and um thank you for watching have a lovely day and night bye if you're a new mom and you need a modification you're going to take your feet slightly apart uh, your knees apart otherwise we're going to lift right up